Showtime! The Capital G Show starts right now. What's up, you two? Capital G here, doing another episode of Hidden Gems, and today I have quite the intriguing gem for you guys. Oh, yes. So, today's gem is Tribe Shocking Virus, and you guys are probably shocked to hear that this card might actually be decent. You know, when I first looked at the card, I thought, oh, wow, this is just clearly a watered-down attempt at Tribe Infecting Virus. Probably not going to see any competitive play at all. All right, first, let's go into the card for those of you guys who are unfamiliar with it. So it's 4 stars, 1700 attack, 1000 defense, water attribute, thunder type, and the effect reads as follows. Once per turn, you can banish one monster from your hand, destroy all face-up monsters on the field with the same type as that monster. So basically, yeah, it's a watered-down tribe-infecting virus. Not only can you only use the effect once per turn, but you have to banish the monster rather than discarding it. Obviously, they wouldn't activate those Atlanteans. And generally speaking, it's almost always better to put the monster in the graveyard rather than banish it. Not to mention, this guy can actually blow up your own monster. So you have to be very skillful when you use this. So you're probably thinking, well, okay, get to it, capital G. How the hell can you use this? And here's where you're going to want to use this guy with Elemental Dragons. Think of how that deck is absolutely dominating in Japan and how when it finally makes its way over to the TCG, the mirror match will be incredibly common. So, I'm going to tell you guys how to abuse the shit out of this card in the mirror match. Since the Elemental Suppressor Dragon deck is constructed almost entirely of dragon type monsters, if your opponent has any monsters on the field that are not Xyz, that pretty much guarantees that those monsters are dragon types. So what does that mean? That means that basically Tribe Shocking Virus is an instant Regeki to their field the second that you summon him. So having a monster with a built-in Regeki for the mirror match is pretty damn good in its own right, but oh yes, it only gets better. Yeah, you know that whole banishing a monster rather than discarding it to the graveyard to activate the effect? That would be pretty much a hindrance in most decks in Yu-Gi-Oh!, not in this one, because we all know that the elemental dragons can activate their effects when they're banished. That means that basically if you discard a title or a redux to Regeki your opponent's field, yep, you just get to search another one and you still have a 1700 beater on the field. And it just facilitates your deck, considering a lot of those decks run Return from the Different Dimension and DDR. So you already have monsters in the Remove from Play Zone, but basically just summon back later in the game. Oh, by the way, did I mention that when Tribe Shocking Virus dies, you can simply banish it to help you summon titles from your hand? So this card actually does serve dual purposes. And one of the most important things about Tribe Shocking Virus, if there's nothing else that you take from this video, remember this. There's this card called Verz Ophelion. It's kind of like the best monster in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Not only does it offer protection from spells, traps, but it also gives you protection against big monsters level 5 or higher. It basically brings this deck to an entire screeching halt and you really can't do shit against it. Oh yeah, Tribe Shocking Virus. You just summon it, discard any elemental dragon you have in your hand, activate their effects, and then you can just blow that motherfucker up. So, let's see. This card is Regeki in the mirror match. If you discard an elemental dragon, you can simply replace it. Uh, when it dies, you can banish it to summon title. And it deals with Vers Ophelion, which is pretty much the best boss monster in Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's not susceptible to the pandemic virus like almost all the other good cards are. So, I see absolutely no reason why this card will not have some playability in the future. I definitely think that you guys should keep your eyes on it and uh, maybe pick up a couple of copies before it ends up getting expensive. Thank you guys for watching as always. Let me know what you think of the card and uh, click that like button. It helps me uh, spread the word to people who aren't subscribed. And by the way, if you aren't subscribed, maybe this is the video that did it for you. Thank you guys and have a nice day. Subscribing makes life happy.